Probiotics for your brain, mood, and gut. Yep, your gut talks to your brain. You know that fluttering feeling in your stomach before you give a toast? Or the sudden loss of appetite that comes with upsetting news? That's your brain communicating with your gut's microbiota, or more scientifically known as the gut-brain axis. And it goes both ways. Your gut's microbiota can also talk to your brain. In fact, recent studies show that consuming probiotics may help improve your mood and smarts. Research shows that the gut and brain are connected, a partnership called the gut-brain axis. The two are linked through biochemical signaling between the nervous system in the digestive tract, called the enteric nervous system, and the central nervous system, which includes the brain. The primary information connection between the brain and gut is the vagus nerve, the longest nerve in the body. I can foresee more widespread usage of probiotics in the treatment of mental health, especially since most people can tolerate them well, says Aparna Iyer, MD, Assistant Professor of Psychiatry at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. Iyer says more research is needed to help determine what strains or doses of probiotics might be the most therapeutic, but in the meantime, you can still give your brain a boost by adding probiotics the smart way to your diet. How do probiotics help the brain? You might think your stomach has a mind of its own sometimes, and you're right. The gut houses our second brain, the enteric nervous system ENS, and it's our job to give the second brain the impression that everything's hunky-dory down there so that it gabs the good news to brain number one. The healthy functioning of one is conducive to healthy functioning of the other, Iyer says. That's a prime reason to get geeky about good bacteria consumption, but it's not just about eating kefir and sauerkraut. There are specific probiotic strains with more research than others, specifically the Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium strains, specifically the L. helveticus and B. longum strains. Researchers are even calling these strains psychobiotics for their potential therapeutic benefits. But here's what science really knows about probiotics and the brain-gut connection. B. longum may reduce depression and anxiety, helps people with IBS. B. Bifidum helps generate vitamins such as K and B12, which may also influence mood. B. Infantis increased relaxation in rats and helped with treating irritable bowel syndrome. L. Rotary known to have an anti-pain effect in mice and can help increase excitability. L. Plantarum significantly increased serotonin and dopamine in mice and reduced anxious behavior when they were in a maze. L. Acidophilus may help reduce cholesterol and supports nutrient absorption. L. Helveticus, rats administered with L. Helveticus showed a decline in anxiety scores but another 2017 study found no difference. Try all probiotic foods, food products often have a mix of probiotics, and not just one type, although you can purchase a specific strain in pill form. For example, one study, published in the Frontiers of Neuroscience, showed that people with Alzheimer's disease who took probiotics, a mixture of L. acidophilus, L. cause, B. bifidum, and L. fermentum, experienced positive effects on cognitive functions like learning power and memory. Research is ongoing with the brain-gut connection and how probiotics can help. But so far, the work is promising and, of course, you don't have to have a chronic illness to reap the potential brain-boosting benefits. Here's a crash course on becoming a probiotic pro. With her clients, Iyer prefers the food, rather than pill, approach. We find ways of incorporating this aspect of their diet into an overall healthy lifestyle, she says. And the patient then ultimately has the control of how to make this change in a way that fits into his or her dietary preferences. Probiotics are most common in fermented foods. That means you can easily incorporate them just by getting creative with your meals. Add a side of probiotics, such as common probiotic strains, sauerkraut to pizza for L. planktarum, B. bifidum. Kimchi to noodle or rice dishes for L. planktarum. Greek yogurt in place of sour cream for B. infantis, B. bifidum or lactobacillus. Kefir to a smoothie for B. infantis, B. bifidum or lactobacillus extra pickles to your sandwich or burger for L. plantarum. Kombucha with a meal to get lactobacillus. Every person's microbiome is different, so don't eat them all at once. When you start to add these foods to your diet, take it slow. For example, you might try a half cup of kefir first and see how your body reacts before working your way up to a full serving, which is one cup. Experiencing gas, bloating, and increased bowel activity isn't uncommon. 
If you don't experience abdominal discomfort, experiment with more foods until you naturally incorporate probiotics throughout the day. Eating probiotics with intention has the added benefit of a built-in lifestyle change. Generally, when my clients introduce probiotics into their diet, they are taking their health seriously and also eating healthy as well, says Natalie Rizzo, M.S., Road, based in New York City. Both of those things together can definitely lead to health improvements. Rizzo recognizes that getting a good dose of probiotic foods every day might be a challenge for some people. Always try to get probiotics naturally first. If you're unable to get in enough, Rizzo suggests a probiotic pill. You can find them at health food stores. Ayer recommends checking with your physician about dosage and to find a trusted, reputable manufacturer. Probiotics and other supplements aren't monitored by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA. There could be concerns about safety, quality, or even packaging. What's the deal with supplements? Probiotic supplements typically contain a combination of several bacteria species. The recommended daily dosage ranges from 1 billion to 10 billion colony-forming units CFUs. Supplements also often contain a mixture of probiotic strains, but the brands will often list which strains they contain. For example, B. infantis, B. longum or L. rotary, L. rhamnosus, L. acidophilus or L. acidophilus, L. rhamnosus, L. plantarum, L. case, B. longum, B. breve, B. subtilis. Start with a dose of lower CFUs and see how your body reacts before working your way up to a full dose. Time your probiotics right. The best time to take a probiotic is with food. A 2011 study found that taking a probiotic pill with a meal or 30 minutes before a meal but not 30 minutes after is the optimal way to keep all the benefits of probiotic supplements. For people who have trouble remembering to take a pill, Rizzo suggests associating your intake with a certain daily activity. You could get in the habit of taking the supplement when you brush your teeth right after you eat breakfast, for example. Keep in mind that it may take a few weeks for the brain benefits to kick in. Even though this might seem like a long time, the reality is that most antidepressants also take this long, too. Iyer says. Most of my patients will first report feeling physically better, with less stomach discomfort and less bloating. Shortly thereafter, they will often also start feeling lower levels of anxiety and improvement of their mood, she adds. Have finals approaching? Stressed with impending work deadlines? Concerned about seasonal affective disorder, sad? Maybe your mood plummets in the days leading up to your period. Or maybe you're going through a breakup or you're just having a rough go of it lately. These are all times when getting super smart and intentional with your diet and probiotic intake can make all the difference. Probiotics and gut health are intimately linked to immune function, which is your body's ability to fight infection or disease. Incorporating probiotics regularly is your best bet for continued well-being. But don't be afraid to ramp up your intake a little more when you anticipate you'll need more help. Secrets to longevity you should practice to live longer. Are you curious about longevity and what makes people in remote villages live to be 100? Triple digits, pretty amazing, right? What is the secret of these long-lived people? In the past 100 years, the lifespan of the average human being have increased by 50%. While society as a whole is expected to live longer than previous generations due to better health care, diet and exercise, research indicates a key component to lasting health and longevity. In a review of more than 160 studies, published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, clear and compelling evidence indicate that happy people tend to live longer and experience better health than their unhappy peers. So, what makes us happy? For Pharrell Williams it's feeling like a room without a roof. That cozy feeling inside may do wonders for your health. Happy people live longer because their heart rate is lower and they have lower levels of the stress hormone, cortisol. Researchers found that emotional vitality, enthusiasm and engagement, as well as optimism and having a support network of family and friends, help people to avoid or successfully manage illnesses such as diabetes, heart attacks, strokes and depression. Did you know that happiness could add seven and a half years to a person's life? But who really wants to live longer if you can't have fun doing it? Looking forward to a long and happy life doesn't have to mean treadmills and salads every day. 
Take these steps to find the fountain of youth in your own backyard. Smile and laugh often. Science has proven that smiling and laughing not only reduces stress and makes you feel good, this optimistic behavior can actually keep you from falling ill and add years to your life. Eat simply. The majority of centenarians in the world live by modest means. This translates directly to their diets, which are usually plant-based, consisting of a variety of legumes, whole grains, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds. Modest living means modest eating. Eating less in general is simply good practice. Eat until you're 80% full. Live by the old adage. Eat like a king by day and a pauper by night. Get some good quality zizis. Not getting enough sleep is another proven factor that reduces health and lifespan. The average adult need 8 to 9 hours of sleep each day. Get a furry friend. Spending quality time with your four-legged companion can be a great way to distress and lengthen your lifespan. Love and be loved. Scientific research has shown that people who have a healthy sex life look and feel younger, sleep better, have less stress, and live longer than those who don't, according to these studies twice a week is the magic number. Spend time with friends and family. The trust and love of family and friends has a powerful effect on your body and could add years to your life. This is due to the feel-good, chemicals dopamine and oxytocin which our brains produce as a result of this. Get active. Release those endorphins. Find something you enjoy, whether it's taking the dog for a walk or tending to your vegetable garden. Low-intensity physical activities are more beneficial and fun in the long run. Find your purpose. Having a life purpose is at the top of the longevity list. Centenarians across the globe are happy people who have reason to get up in the morning. Meditate. Yoga and meditation are great practices that can be done privately or in a group to relieve stress in our modern lifestyles. Drink red wine. Red wine is packed with resveratrol, an antioxidant to protect your body against the effects of aging. Not more than two glasses per day is recommended. Eat dark chocolate. This is a good one. Eat a little of it every day, it may lower your blood pressure and cholesterol while providing an energy boost. Belief studies have shown that faith allows you to find inner peace and happiness. Bottom line, happy people live longer. Listen to your body, take good care of it and in return it will take good care of you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Healthy Lifestyle.